Well, it was it started off pretty early because you had to be at uh, Page School at 6:30. So for me, that was a a bus ride, uh, uh, and then then we'd have class till about I want to say nine, maybe 9:30, nine uh, and then we'd walk across uh, campus to the to the hill and pretty much go to work, although work was fairly quiet at those hours because the house usually didn't go into session until around noon. So we had a couple of hours to to sit around, maybe grab an early lunch. Uh, and uh, yeah, because I know we grabbed an early lunch because between Maggie's cooking and um, the the cloakroom staff that cook, that made meals, I, I gained quite a few pounds <laughs> the, the first six months I was here. Um, so then you'd uh, you just make sure the you had plenty of pens and pads in the booths to take the messages, um, and uh, then at noon the house would go into session. The members would start coming in, phones would start. They had been ringing previously, but not that much because they people that were calling knew that the members weren't there yet. But by noon, the phones. I mean, we had 13 phones as I recall, and half or more of them were almost always lit up. It was always a pretty busy time for the four pages and then we had two supervisors. Uh, so there were six of us that could be answering the phones at once if need be. Um, how Members were constantly in and out of the cloakroom getting something to eat. There was an area where we had large chairs and large couches that they don't have any more, <laughs> but the members would come in there and maybe take a nap. Uh, there might be a little meeting of the minds or over some issue, some bill, some legislation. Uh, the cloakroom was a um, a good place to uh, to get those kinds of things done. You know, it was it was private. Um, there were the eyes of of the world couldn't peer in it. And, and see who you were talking to or hear what you were talking about. 